are at the very beginning stages of planning uh, significantly more um, in-person voting uh, sites for election day. Those plans could mean voters in Marion County won't face long lines in November like the one seen here during the primary election. With 16 weeks until the general election, there is a lot that you need to know. Working for you, RTV6's Cornelius Hawker reached out to the Marion County election officials to find out what's being done to make sure everyone can exercise their right to vote. We're doing everything that we can to help prevent those long lines. Russell Hollis, deputy director with the mayor and county clerk's office, tells me making the voting experience better for the general election is a top priority. Ideally, we'll have voting for the full 28 day period which is the normal early voting period. Along with early voting, Hollis also wants people to know about the option to vote by mail. We encourage them to use the state's online portal to vote by mail. It's a more efficient process for voters and it does uh, eliminate some of the uh, steps for error that a voter can make when applying on a paper application. As more people consider voting by mail to cut down on the risk of contracting coronavirus, Hollis encourages you to make sure you read all the instructions that come with absentee ballots. Marion County didn't count 1,806 of the ballots they received for the primary election. Some of the ballots that were rejected were rejected because they were lacking the voter's signature. So there is a signature space in yellow on the back of the return envelope and the election board must match the voter's signature on the application with the signature that is on the back of that return envelope. November's election is going to have its challenges. Hollis wants voters to know election officials are doing all they can to make things easier. You'll see less lines uh, or smaller lines on election day. Working for you, Cornelius Hawker, RTV6. The number of in-person voting places hasn't been decided, but Hollis tells RTV6 it will be more than what was offered in Marion County for the primary election.